Beeswax is a great finish for steel. It's really easy to apply. Blacksmiths have been using beeswax for ages and you just get such a, a nice finish. This is my outdoor work table and for this project the beeswax will act as a rust inhibitor. I will have to maintain the surface because the table is outside and all that means is from time to time I'll burn in more beeswax. If this were an interior project the finish would be very stable and not require any maintenance. The first step in this project is to use the wire wheel and remove any of the loose rust, dirt, and I, I like to set up a table because I think it's very important to try to work comfortably. So I'm working on my collapsible table here and you also want to make sure that you're wearing eye protection, ear protection, and a dust mask. This is a very dirty process. Now that I've got the surface cleaned, I'm ready to start applying the beeswax. And you, you really should keep beeswax between 180, 200 degrees. I like to melt the beeswax down first and then apply it with a throwaway brush and then use the torch to work the beeswax into the steel. I'm using the TS-8000. This is a torch by burns matic and this project is sponsored by burns matic one of the things I really like about this torch is it's very easy to use. Turn the fuel on, hit the trigger, and you've got fire. To learn more about this torch, I'll have a link in the description. It's pretty cold here today, and the downside of working with beeswax on steel when it's cold like this is the wax cools almost immediately. So I try to warm the surface up first with the torch before the brush with the wax hits the surface of the steel. On another note, if it were warmer out today, say in the 50s, I would have a ton of bees buzzing around me right now, so you take the good with the bad. As I cover the steel with the beeswax, I push it into all the tight spots with the torch. Once I've got all the surfaces covered, then I use a rag to remove any excess wax. Once all of the excess wax has been removed, I use the torch again to heat any remaining wax into the surface. And there it is, a beautiful beeswax finish. This is the same finish that I used on my anvil last week. I like using this finish on steel sculptures, on hardware. It's just a, a really nice looking finish and an easy finish to apply. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.